Well, hi everyone. Welcome to Stratford Racecourse. Uh, thanks so much for joining us. And uh, what I thought I'd do, just while waiting for everyone to join us, to show you a little bit about what it's like to be an owner here on a race day. So I'm just going to turn the uh, turn the camera around, so you can see Stratford looks uh, a little bit quieter than than normal. And as we pan round, uh, in fact, you'll see Sam just going into the. The, the weighing room and we're in a sort of an owner's area here you may be able to see it see a barrier where, where owners are, 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 are not allowed to cross so we do have access to some of the parade ring um, but not to the unsaddling the saddling boxes so we won't be able to see those but we can see the winner's enclosure so fingers crossed uh, we end up in there afterwards so we're sort of in a in, in an enclosed area where owners are allowed to to, to be uh, which is perfectly satisfactory and we, and we get a, a view of the racing and a view of the the parade ring um, the the rest of the um, sort of the, the the officials if you like the the trainers the owners the race course officials are on the other side of the barrier and we're very much not allowed to, to cross that 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 forbidden line um, and they're allowed to to go about their work on the other side of the barrier so um, it, it in practice it, it works fine um, the, the viewing isn't as good as we'd normally have just because we only have access to to one stand but but overall I, I think it's okay and gives you a bit of a flavor for, for what it's like on a race day at the moment now I'm, I'm very much told that, uh, that, that these are just the initial steps and hopefully it won't be long before more owners are allowed to come to a race day so hopefully it won't be long before these sort of restrictions are lifted but at the moment everyone's just taking it one step at a time and making sure things run smoothly so um, i'm just going to wander across and we can't get to the uh saddling area but i'll try and see if you're able to to see the horses over the bin <laughs> and uh, just through there you will be able to see the, the saddling boxes I have seen Richard and he's decided to wear the same outfit as I am so clearly it's a, a fashion parade between us and Sam's just gone to take the saddle over and uh, and just get it getting ready in the jockey's room. Hopefully everyone caught up with the video I uh, sent uh, earlier with with a sort of preview from, from Richard in terms of the plan and what we're trying today which is very much an experiment but we'll give it a go and, and whatever happens we're bound to learn lots from it so fingers crossed for, for a good run for a pan across you'll see Jamie Snowden just in the parade ring So there is sort of an area here where trainers can talk to their owners sort of across across the barrier uh, as long as we all keep our distance so that that's allowed so after the race um, I will speak to Richard and hopefully Sam and get a little bit of feedback which I'll email out to everyone but hopefully we'll be able to catch up with Richard before the race just to see how um, our mare is and, and how she traveled to get here and uh, just um, how relaxed or not she might have been in the preliminaries. So I'm sorry we've not got much of a view at the moment. We're just waiting for them to come through into the, the parade ring. Uh, but as soon as they do, we'll, we'll be able to see all the horses before this race. Uh, well, it's just starting to rain here, which is uh, typical. So hopefully we'll keep dry. But the horses all look pretty saddled. So we're just waiting for them to come through to the parade ring now. It shouldn't, shouldn't take long. Uh, and hopefully I'm not going to get too wet. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. So some of the horses now starting to come through, which is great. So we'll, we'll turn the camera around so everyone can, can see the parade ring. And they're going to be led out by, um, by Dan Skelton's horse. Yeah. 
That's Paul De Victor, who, who won twice um, a couple of seasons ago, but hasn't won since. And that's the top weight, Sam England's horse. And Farmer Boy, um, whose rating has dropped quite a lot and stepping up in trip today. So certainly an interesting runner. No sign of Evita just yet, but I expect Richard won't be in a rush to, to bring her out because she can get a little bit excited. Um, so I imagine he'll, he'll take his time to, to bring her into the parade ring. So we'll keep looking at, at the four horses that are in the parade ring at the moment. So you can probably see Dan Skelton's coming towards us again. This horse was with Keith Daglish and ran well on its debut for, for Dan Skelton. So I expect they're, they're looking for a good, another good showing this afternoon. Number five, Board Victor. This is Farmer Boy. Looks like he's going to go down to the start early. A couple more coming into the parade ring now. This is Chill in the Wood. He won a, a chase at Plumpton last season and was, uh, but hasn't, I don't think he's run in a hurdle race for about five years. And that followed by Jake Snipe, who's the horse Richard mentioned in his preview. He's uh, pulled up at Cheltenham, um, but uh, has got some, ooh, and he last ran under rules, but his point to point form has been very, very good. Interesting runner. So if you're just joining us, um, Evita hasn't come into the parade ring yet, but um, probably as, as planned really, Richard won't be rushing to, to get her into the parade ring. Uh, she, she got, if you remember last year, she, she would get quite excited and uh, uh, so we'll keep her nice and calm out the way, at least uh, and, uh, until fairly late, I think. So you'll see we're restricted to uh, two owner's tickets per horse and you'll see there's only four people here so um, it's pretty frustrating that we're limited to the number of people that can come at the moment but here come the jockeys there's Sam giving us a wave Well, Sam's beaten Evita into the, uh, into the parade ring, but here she comes. She's just coming in now. You'll see Rod Trow, which is assistant, just wandering in. And here she comes.
And looking very relaxed, I would say, as well. So that's a, a, an encouraging sign. I'm afraid I can't zoom very well uh, on Zoom. <laughs> uh, so we can't see it particularly well at the far end of the parade ring, but she'll, uh, she'll come around again with Sam on board and we'll, we'll get another picture of her uh, when she comes past. And here comes uh, Avisa with Sam on board. Good luck, need a change of luck. And we'll just see how she goes down to the start. Great, hi Richard. Just there's just a horse coming behind you there. Maybe we could just grab a quick word. So we're live. Yeah. Well, Zoom. Well, yeah. uh, great to have her back on track. That's the first thing. She's really well. Um, this is a massive span of this distance. And when she sat on the phone, I've asked Sam to really ride the car. Well, I'd mean, rather he comes and he says that I can't get that much ground away than, and you're right, than, um, than get too involved, too busy. She can be keen, we know that. So it's not an easy job for Sam. But let's see where we get to and we'll learn from it. I think there's one or two in this race that are actually okay. Uh, the sculpt course, the point to point is one five out of six. It's probably quite decent at this standard to stay to stay over. So it's going to have to improve for her. But uh, look, looking forward to seeing how we get on. And how's she been sort of in the before the race? Fine. Calm, actually fine, more mature than previously. We've saddled her up in stables just then, just to just be yeah, as a precaution. But to be honest, she's been very very well behaved today and very easy. So I hope that translates into an improved performance on the track. But we'll find out in about ten minutes. Great. Well, thank you very much indeed, Richard. I'll just sign off for everyone. So I'm not allowed to show the race, so um, I'll say goodbye here. I will get some video and feedback from, from Richard after the race and, and email that across to everyone. But thanks for joining us. I hope you've enjoyed seeing the horses in the parade ring. And, uh, and good luck. Enjoy the race.